After the Indonesian earthquake, the complete coverage by the, the media uh, really brought it home to, to everybody in the world, the sheer horrific sight to the tsunami um, and, and the kind of death tolls that it can cause. In that particular case, it was about 225,000 people that died. It made us realize that the, the tsunami, the danger of tsunamis, is actually very, very real. The, the capsule really is, is the uh, combination of um, some original thoughts and ideas and uh, I brought my uh, work colleague in and, and showed him and, and uh, he, he thought well that's a pretty good idea. Um, so we started putting pencil to paper and, and came up with some sketches and, and designs and, and then it kind of laid to rest until Sendai, uh, the Japanese uh, tsunami and earthquake happened. And then we realized that we need to do something. So we went on from there and, and, and progressed the design until we had something that was offerable to the general public. What we're offering is something that's um, relatively lightweight, very strong, uh, durable in, in thermal conditions, and uh, she'll go, undergo um, an aerospace equivalent type test program. Um, the object of this exercise is to really instill into the uh, general public uh, a level of confidence that this capsule um, can uh, offer security in a very uh, hostile uh, environment, which is the tsunami um, wave. Modern day early warning systems can save anywhere up to 90% of the population. That final 10% are most likely going to perish. In a, a tsunami which uh, is exposing two and a half million people, um, which is uh, more often the case, then um, that 10% becomes a quarter of a million, and that's a large number. So in order to get that 10% down to say 1 or 2%, um, this is an option. Um, the capsule you see behind me and, and uh, the capsule in, in various sizes is, is an option when it comes to reducing that percentage.